I told my wife I'm not coming to come and say. day three i feel horrible i feel more sick than tired uh but we're gonna do our best gonna do meet and greets all day one thing we've picked up here at the arnold collaboration with wolfpack we've got lift coming be kind patches so link is in the description pick those up otherwise today we're gonna be doing meet and greet here vip meet and greet rain meet and greet airwave content etc etc so should be fun meeting lots of people and um, I'll forever be grateful for lines of people who just want to say hello. And uh, hopefully I can leave them with some sort of positive feeling. Um, yeah, that's that. So um, it'll be a bit of a battle today, but it'll be people's first time meeting me. So for me, that's a pretty big responsibility to um, make them feel inspired, make them feel happy. And uh, it's sort of the least I can do for the people who pay my bills. Oh, Dad. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> right, we're over to record breakers. As you guys can hear, not feeling 100%. Uh, but it's important to me. The Strongman was a ticketed event, and I know that there's going to be people who put all of their money just to get to Columbus, maybe miss out on tickets. It was sold out and people can just watch this. So I'm gonna go give my best. I was gonna do all three, but I'm just gonna do the, the front hold because I can't get injured and I can hardly touch my toes at the moment. Front hold for time, we'll see. I'm not expecting a whole lot, but uh, I'll give it every ounce of effort that I have and um, be able to support everyone else who comes out. We've got amateurs who qualify to come do the record breakers and I'm sure that they enjoy having some of the pros involved as well. Um, so it should be a good event all around. And the more times that I can get in front of a crowd and maybe inspire someone, make someone smile to, to better themselves, then um, how could I not do that? So 50 some odd seconds, a handful off from the world record. If I was fresh, bit of adrenaline, I reckon I could get that pretty comfortably, uh, but obviously not there today. Happy to go in and put in a decent performance. Now, I'm always in my lift heavy, be kind kit. You guys know that. 
The purpose behind this for me is that we're promoting a positive message in the gym. They might see a bigger intimidating guy, someone slamming weights, someone confident in the gym, and maybe someone not confident in the gym comes in, sees this, and is more comfortable themselves. The booth has had merch flying out all weekend. We asked some people what Lift Heavy Be Kind meant to them. Check out what they had to say. Lift Heavy Be Kind means I'm gonna help these people out. I'm gonna tell them, you know, all the hidden tips and tricks that people don't know when they first enter the gym. I'm gonna help people be where I'm at and I'm gonna help people do what I do. When I started at the gym, I couldn't even bench the bar. And I had a lot of people come and I had a lot of people help me. And I think now that I'm a little bit stronger, I can kind of pass that on to other people. And then we can kind of create, you know, a loop and we can spread, you know, spread kindness through everybody. Lift Heavy Be Kind, I think, means a lot of what is counterculture to normal gym culture. Normal gym culture is all about intensity and testosterone being masculine. But Lift Heavy Be Kind, it means for everybody. Anyone in the world can lift heavy and be kind. And it's just a great message to send out to the world. Lift Heavy Be Kind means to stay positive and also push yourself and those around you to be the best version of yourself and to just continuously support everybody else. Be a good dude. Be a gym bro. Be, like, nice to people. Like. We all start at a level, so yeah, I like I like his motto. What lift heavy be kind means to me is making sure that you're not only bettering yourself, but you're helping bettering the people around you. Making sure that in the, in the gym, outside of the gym, making sure that we are the strongest we can be. Not not just physically, but mentally. Just bringing up everyone, bringing up yourself, and just keeping that growing, keeping the community strong. Impressive, disappointing performance of all time. That's uh, like, dude, that one kind of crazy. Uh, but I, but you, you can understand. It's like I hate that people love that squat, but it's like in the back of my head, I remember the rest of the meet, and I'm like, I, I can't tell you guys like, oh, it was a bad lift, but it's like in my heart, I'm just like, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean. I mean it's just hard, like, that squad took so much out of me, dude. Yeah. Like, I just think it was flushing out, like, all the assaults I had. And I'm a soup, I don't have to throw weight, so I don't have to deal with, like, precise formulation in terms of hydration. Yeah. And, like, now, like, that's something that I feel I need to be very educated on because that's, that's where I hit the wall. I wasn't recovering in between lifts I was last year. And I don't know, like, maybe it was that eight kilo difference because like, I did 470 last year and then 478, right? But it's just like, so now like, I'm reading up on that. I'm like trying to add to my repertoire. I need, I'm getting in contact with a few nutritionists or like people who specialize in that. And then on the other hand, like I'm also like up and up my cardio a lot. Because it's like, for our sport, right? Like you guys gotta do party all the time. But for us, like we can get by with like low maintenance, like three, four times a week after eating, right? So it's like now like, I'm being very intentional with like my rest periods. Okay, like if I have a set of eight, if I do like 700 for three sets of eight, like okay, and instead of sitting down, what I'm doing is I take my, actually I keep my shit on, but I'll log 200 yards and just focus on controlling my feeling. Yeah. And that's like, I've been noticing a pretty good, decent turnaround like just two weeks after that. And it's like, man, like, I, I think it needed to happen. I, I need to do these little things to really put it together because it's like, man, like, I feel like I've gone this far with this level of effort, and now to get over the hump, so you can total like 1,200, it's a completely little, it's a different level than what I've done. It seems no one's done before. That's what I'm That's telling you, man. So I think, I think I'm the man for the job. Like, my training was going so well. Dude, I was keeping up with that. It was so well. insane. Like, numbers I've never hit before, like, yeah. consistently. Like, when I hit 1,000 in training, like, I normally have to take, like, two, three weeks but I was hitting like a thousand back to back and I was just like, I feel like my body is like finally getting to a point where they can handle like stress a little better. Yeah. But now it's just like, man, like these are things that I was good at. Like I eat clean and like I do my steps, but now I need to just sharpen up even more. So, I mean, that, that's definitely the taste that left in my mouth. Yeah. Uh, and I, I gotta do it, man. Cause it's at the, it's, I'm at that point where it's like, do I just fucking start like stuttering out or do I fucking dig deep and take like keep going? Yeah. And I mean, uh, 
It's history, dude. I know. It's history. I used to stay after for my nutrition. Yeah. I can't recommend them enough. Okay. Like really common sense. Doesn't overcomplicate anything. Okay. Easy to adhere to. Yeah, love it. Okay. Yeah. Because he's he's mentioned these before, but I don't know how he he does with like athletes. <laughs> I didn't know he was like <laughs> he works with me, he works with Five. Thor, he works with John Jones, yeah. he works with guys in the NFL, NBA. He's around athletes. That's right. I call it at least at, least, at, least, at least at the very minimum in consultation. Yeah. Yeah, that's sense. Right, Good to see you, brother. Yes, sir. So he hasn't done those for about five years. These are old videos you see on the internet now. Okay. Idea. Idea, okay. What if I pick up one half, he picks up the other, and we just hold like this for a picture. That is the Arnold done and dusted day three. All done, big day of meeting, tons of fans. Booth was crazy busy all weekend. Thank you to everyone for your support. Next up, we got the Arnold UK in two weeks. World's Strongest Man's in eight or nine weeks. We're gonna take this and we're gonna build some momentum. Just like last year, I'm peaking to be my best at World's Strongest Man. So if you think you saw my best this weekend, then wait eight weeks time and you're gonna see a whole different animal. Thank you very much everyone for watching. As per usual, lift every week on. We're off to get some food, rest and recuperate for a quick turnaround for the Arnold UK. If you haven't already, get your tickets. Come see us in Birmingham, running back this show. It's gonna be epic. Thanks guys. As always, lift every week on. Merch link in the description, and we'll catch you in the next video.